top three things I learned this year. Ooh. I learned that I can spackle pretty much anything with that pink drywall spackle. <laughs> <laughs> I would say, if you love something, keep pushing through it, keep persevering. Failure and whatever success definitely doesn't feel the same. So as hard as it is to go through when you're in the middle of it, it definitely makes the highs much more special. So I kind of appreciate That's both fun. for their own reasons. That was definitely like the best I fell off. Lee from the United States of America, riding for intense factory racing. Ladies and gentlemen, Aaron Glenn! 2022 started as maybe the most difficult season I've ever had. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> The lows for me this year were definitely the first two races. We worked really hard again this off season. I'd probably put in more training hours and hard work and testing and everything than I ever have in my whole life. This year felt really good coming into the first race at France and then I had a huge crash in practice. And I was just like, oh man, like, please not again. Regrouped, had a good couple of weeks, went to Fort William. Was like, all right, we got some momentum going. Let's get this season started right. Like first race was a throwaway, but we'll be better now. And then flatted in qualifying and didn't qualify for a finals for the first time in my, whatever, 14 year career. <laughs> so that was a... Um... Yeah, Ready to rip it. Go. It's harder maybe because other people's criticism sometimes when I was younger definitely would affect me more. So I think as I've gotten older, it's become easier. You know, I'm pretty comfortable with just kind of the integrity I have in my own mind of <laughs> the work we're putting in. But it definitely doesn't make it easier. Like I would say because you work so hard and you want it so bad and if we've had some really rough years, the start of this year was definitely like frustrating. You're welcome. Have fun today. Thus is life, man. Like, find out what you're made of. Those were the lows of this season and the year. I'd say everything else this year was fun, man. On a personal level or with racing, everything else went pretty good. Last World Cup of the season. To me, when you're really flowing and going fast on a downhill bike is like the funnest thing you could ever do and I just missed that comfort and sort of happiness that I had riding my bike the last few years. So to be able to get back to doing that a bit, where you have moments this year in practice where you hit a section or something and you're like, yeah, that's what we're looking for. Soul, last race of the year, feeling like I was really in a position to challenge for a win again there. We didn't make it happen, but we were really close. Ending the year, like kind of with our strongest race of the year, it was really good. The kind of two-year game plan for me going into this season was to kind of get myself sharp again, get back up to speed, get comfortable, and just kind of build and then get the new bike, dial that thing in, and then make a run at another title next year. A lot easier said than done, but so far we're pretty much exactly on pace. For sure, carrying a lot of momentum into next year and hoping to be winning again.